Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This is CSS uh, lesson number uh, five. In this tutorial, we're going to be making this navigation bar, uh, basically with a gradient in the background, and when you roll over, the text changes colour, and um, the background also changes colour with a gradient. Okay, so let's um, get on with this because we don't have much time. I'm just going to open this index.html up, um, which is the file that we're going to be using. Um, there's nothing on it at the moment, but we'll pop over to here and this is our index.html. I've already made a, a layout.css which is going to be our external style sheet um, which all of this stuff you should have learned in the previous four lessons so um, you should be able to do it. Okay so you should understand what I'm doing here already so I'm just going to get on with it and href equals layout.css because it's on the same level. Okay what we're going to do first of all is we're going to make a div with the class of uh, navbar and then we're just going to close the div and then what we're going to do is with inside this we're going to make five buttons so we're going to say div uh, and with the class of button which is going to be the actual button itself and with a div and with inside this div we're going to basically make an anchor tag so it then navigates to the next page that we want it to go to and by putting a pound sign basically says it's going anywhere it's just an anchor tag and with inside this we're going to say home okay what we're going to do is I'm going to copy four um, I'm going to copy these and I'm going to paste them down uh, five times to make five buttons. Give me a second and I'm going to change all of these. Okay, I'm back again. Now I've changed all these um, uh, these buttons so they're now um, basically proper buttons. We'll just save this out and see what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Not very pretty at the moment, um, but we're getting there. Okay, what do we need to do next? Let's pop back over to our, um, our code. Next we need to make a a class for the navbar and a class for the button but we're actually going to be talking to the, um, the anchor tag with inside the, the, the div tag rather than just giving the div um, <coughs> a, a class uh, uh, it will come a bit clearer later on so let's pop over to our layout.css to make our styles um, let's zoom in slightly and we're going to make a navbar class first of all and then we're going to make straight away our um, button class and as I said we're going to be talking to the anchor tag with inside of it because I'll, I'll show you I'll show you shortly um, okay so first of all we're going to make um, our navigation bar a thousand pixels height of um, 25 pixels um, we're going to say that um, the font uh, family is going to be the Dana and the font uh, size is going to be 13 pixels and line height is going to be 22 pixels and uh, font weight is going to be uh, bold okay so it's control s to save and we come to here and as you can see now um, there it's basically done everything i want now okay why is it blue um, it's basically because of the anchor tag uh, as told the, the default settings for an anchor tag is basically blue uh, and underlined so what we need to do um, with inside this button now with inside the anchor tag first things first we need to format the color so we, I want the color of it to be black so that's three zeros and um, we don't want any uh, underlining within it because I don't like it so we say text decoration equals none that strips away any decoration at all um, and I want the text to uh, align, align center as well. Okay, so let's come back to this. And I want each um, button to be the width of 100 pixels and the height of 25 pixels. So you can just get a look of it there. I'm going to control S to save this. And now, as you can see, it's there. So what I'm going to do is with this um, navigation bar, I'm going to give it a border so we can see what we're playing with basically one of one pixels solid and um, black we come back to here and as you can see okay now the important part you can see that this navigation bar is a thousand pixels and it's got a border but these uh, buttons are just going uh, basically beneath each other and um, they're not going with inside uh, the uh, navigation bar although with inside of our uh, text here you can see quite clearly 
that it's inside well that's because of HTML it doesn't know any, anything else it just drops between each other so what we need to do is basically uh, use a CSS uh, called float and what this will do is just put it, it will um, it will ignore any white space and just keep going in line basically uh, so let's just save this out again okay so what we need to do with inside our um, button uh, class talking to the anchor tags we need to say float left and control s to save and you come here and you can see all these buttons now um, go go on the same the same level this is all okay in Firefox and Internet Explorer, a Safari, Opera and so on. It's all the same same coding. Okay, now what I said about while we're talking to the anchor tag is as you can see here, anywhere we roll over um, away from the text, it becomes a um, link still. Okay, which without, if we take away the A, whoops, take away the A and then basically refresh this, you'll see that the um, it goes underlined as well because we haven't told it, haven't told the anchor tag to strip that um, text decoration. And as you can see, the cursor stays as a point as a arrow, and it only goes to the pointer, the hand, when we go over the text. Well, this is this is um, very important for a good navigation bar. So let's control S to save this. Okay, so um, let's just quickly come back to this again. Um, it's back to normal. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is basically put a background onto the actual navbar um, div itself. So we're going to spread a whole background, but we're going to be using a JPEG image. If it comes to my desktop here, you can see I've got two JPEG Im images here. I've got one navbar um, grad and one navbar grad roll, and these are a uh, one pixel in width and 25 pixels in height. Um, yeah, the both of them are. So what we're going to do is rather than loading one big um, JPEG up, we're just going to load um, two very small ones and then we're going to repeat it all the way across the X axis. X axis meaning from left to right, Y axis meaning from top to bottom. Okay, so let's just, um, let's just get on with it, shall we? Okay, so let's go to our nav bar and there's two methods of doing this. We can basically say, I'll write it out um, so we don't waste time, is Earl and we've got nav uh, bar grad.jpg and repeat um, equals x it's got one way of doing it is just like this or the second way of basically um, doing it is is repeat x and then what would be here would be um, background image without this repeat x um, basically but it, it works on both browsers um, just using this which means it's one um, line of code less that you have to write and it means it's one line of code less that the browser actually has to read and load so um, anyway so this is um, now the background URL which we're talking to is navbargrad.jpg because it's on the same level we don't have to um, put any dots or any forward slashes and so on and repeat x means it will just re keep on repeating x until it hits the end of the um, thousand pixels basically so let's control s to save this come back to the navigation bar refresh and have a look now you've got a nice gradient background which looks a lot smarter than using just a, a single solid color okay well at the moment when we hover over these um, buttons it doesn't actually do anything although they are links I want the, the text to change color and I also want the background to change um, the gradient as well so let's get on with this um, all we have to do is basically copy this button A and then just paste it below and what we do is after the A is we say colon and hover which means any time that the mouse uh, hovers over this this is now what action uh, what CSS it will read so what we've got to do is change the text from being the color of the text from being black to white with three F's and what we do is we take this background here okay copy this and paste it under here and we're going to say now change the background of this button to background to the nav navbar underscore grad underscore roll dot jpeg and repeat it on the X so it's basically only going to repeat over a hundred pixels now best way to show you is by to show you and we'll basically refresh this and as we roll over the home button you see now the background changes and basically um, the, the text changes the great thing about this is if I've got enough time to talk about it is that there's no JavaScript used in this and if we shut um, JavaScript off 
quickly find it JavaScript deactivated uh, refresh it it still works now if we was using on mouse over or mouse out for JavaScript I'm sure you haven't got an idea what I'm talking about but JavaScript uh, then this basic this navigation bar would not work still let's just turn this back on um, okay that is pretty much it for the tutorial um, if you need any uh, help or anything like that watch the tutorial again um, and write the code out that I've written um, and and that's that's about it okay well thank you thank you very much uh, for watching my name is David Thorne Mr. Liz, David Thorne, and I'm at www.thornwebdesign.de. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.